Hey everyone, Correct Jeans here, and I have a very interesting lock for us today. This is an Elzit. That key is not marked. This is an Elzit magnetic rotor magnetic rotor lock. That's hard to say, um, which operates by having three magnets on each side of the key, which align rotors in both sides of the lock to the proper orientation, so that sidebars on both sides are allowed to recede and let the lock open. Now, I will be picking this lock using sound um, in a method that is outlined by uh, Draucan in a separate video that I'll link in the description. Um, the basic idea is you manipulate the rotors using a magnetic pick, which is just a broken pick with a magnet super glued to it. Before doing that, you have to set the ball bearing, uh, which is used for key retention. You can see this little slot here. And the sound part comes in by applying a guitar pickup to the side of the lock. And I apologize, but I, I will be picking this with headphones on, but I will do my best to describe what is going on inside of the lock as I pick it, and lastly, I have a piece of magnetic shielding here, which allows me to pick opposite sides of the lock without disturbing the other side. If you want more details on exactly how this works, you can check out Draken's video. A uh, quick preview of what the words I'll, saying, I'll be saying mean while I pick it are, um, when I say that a uh, rotor is quiet, it means that it is most likely binding. Um, in that it is not loose when I jiggle the magnet around it. And so I will then release tension, move it around a little bit, reapply tension, and continue doing that until it begins to make noise. And if it doesn't after a while, then I will um, move on to a different one because it's possible that rotor is simply free spinning. Um, and then rotors that are rattling are um, rotors that are set. And the rattling comes from the fact that a set rotor is going to hit up against the sidebar as you jiggle it. Um, just like picking any other sidebar lock, um, when you're in a true gate, your pins tend to be very loose, and this is still true inside of a magnetic rotor lock. So without further ado, let's get it clamped up and picked. All right, here we go. First things first, get it scrambled up with the key. And give it a little extra something something. All right. Apply your attention. Pop the ball bearing. There it is. Get our shielding in there. Let's make sure that it fits in this left side. All right, pump the volume. Let's get picking. Rotor one is quiet. What? Oh, I'm stupid. I forgot to put the guitar pickup on. I was like, why is it not doing anything? There we go. Rotor one is still quiet though.
Okay. Now it's rattling. Rotor 2 is rattling. Rotor 3 is also rattling. I think those might have already been set somehow. Alright, let's check the right side. Rotor 1 is quiet. Now it's rattling. Rotor 2 is quiet. And rotor 3 is quiet. Let's start on 3. Right, rotor 3 sounds like it's rattling now. Rotor 1 is still rattling. Rotor 2 is quiet. Rotor 3 is quiet again. Okay, rotor 3 is definitely rattling now. Rotor 1 is still rattling. Rotor 2 is quiet. There we go. We got it open. All right. off this amp before I make myself go deaf. Okay, sorry I had to use headphones for that. Um, it turns out that I'm not particularly good. hearing the noises that come out of this lock when I do it through speakers. And that's mostly just because my speakers are terrible. And so, sorry about that. I hope I described what was going on well enough for it to be uh, listenable. There we go. Okay. Let's uh, lock it back up. clip remover. This is a new acquisition of mine and I am very happy with this purchase. take the rotors completely out. How about, yeah, let's do this. I'll take out the sidebars and sidebar springs, but I'll take only completely remove the rotors from one side just so we don't have to deal with all of that. Uh, 
All right, so you can see this is, uh, there's nothing up in here to get besides the um, ball bearing, uh, the spring and such for the ball bearing, and then a second ball bearing. So I'm not gonna actually take this follower out just because uh, those things are rather difficult to get back in there. All right, let's pour out that ball bearing. Okay, sidebar number one. See, it's just completely sort of squared off here. And then we'll just sort of try to tap these springs out. Let's get this key out of here. All right, got the other sidebar. And these covers sometimes like to fall off spontaneously, so I'm, I gotta be careful here. Oop. Don't lose the sidebar spring. And I did exactly what I said not to do. Okay, I'll, I'll find that later. You guys don't need to... Yeah. Anyway, so you can see into the side here, the rotors. So key goes in, and the rotors are all lined in this way. It's actually kind of hard to... Let me get in here with the magnet. So you can see them spinning around. They have that big cut out there the sidebar slips in. And they get perfectly aligned by that key. And then it's sort of the same deal on the other side. Um, I'll go ahead and take the cover off of one of the sides. And I'm just going to keep dropping things, I guess. That one's being difficult. Let's try the other one. There we go. Alright, so these are the rotors. So they spin, spin in their little slots, and you can see it's just got that big cutout and in half of it, where the sidebar slips in when it's rotated correctly. And then there's a mag, and then, oh, oh here it is. I'm, sorry about that. <laughs> you can see that there is in fact a magnet in here that is stuck to this ball bearing. Um, and that magnet is aligned with the key. Uh, it's polarized edge to edge, just like the key, key magnets are. So anyway, that's it for this cool little magnetic rotor lock. Uh, yeah. Thumbs up. Yeah, there we go. Have a good one.